Hey guys, uh, in this video, we are going to specifically deal with uh, different browsers, okay, on UiPath. How you work on different browsers, how does that work? This is going to definitely help a lot of beginners if you are starting your learning journey. Then you would like to know how to really deal with a different browsers, let's say Google Chrome, Internet Explorer, Edge, Mozilla Firefox, there are multiple things, right? So let's get started. Before that, we have ample of videos on UiPath. So on our channel, please do subscribe to our channel and on a regular basis, we upload videos on our channel. So please do subscribe and hit on the bell icon to stay up to date. So let's get started and understand. Now the very first thing, right? Uh, one thing you must be aware that the Internet Explorer on June 15th, 2022, it's going to be decommissioned i mean it will not be supported by microsoft anymore so we have i think another day left today is 14th 2022 so um so what they are doing instead of internet explorer we should use microsoft edge right this is one of the browser the other uh, popular browser is your google chrome isn't it so google chrome is your popular browser so and and multiple browsers are there so deal to deal with browsers what you have to do you have to hit on the home page on the uipath studio okay you have to go to the this is known as the backstage view now on the backstage view you have something known as tools okay hit on tools and here there are multiple different extensions for different things for example for chrome so i have already installed a browser extension let me uninstall it so that i can show you from the beginning and the entire process would take hardly a second you have an extension for Chrome was uninstalled for current user. Okay, it has been uninstalled. So what I do, let me close all the, you know, before you install any extension, it is advised to close that application completely. And now I need to hit on install. Okay, so here it is saying the UiPath extension for Chrome was successfully installed for current user. So if you have closed it completely, it will automatically do it. Otherwise, it might prompt you that the browser is still running. Would you like to continue? So hit on OK. So read that prompt and do that. So here mine is installed. You need to enable the browser extension by navigating to Chrome extension and then restart the browser. OK. It is saying so UiPath Studio has installed the extension. So you have to open the browser. So this is the step. So you have hit on install. So once it is installed, what you do, you need to go to this three dots okay and then otherwise you will get a prompt enable extension okay here you can do enable extension if you get a prompt in case you did not get a prompt what you do hit on this hit on settings quite simple and uh, so this prompt will come okay chrome detected that some of your settings were corrupted by another program and reset them to their original default do not hit on reset on this click on okay go to extension okay because you need to after you enable you need to close and restart okay you did not do it i'm directly going to settings that's why just to show you where you can enable here you have the uipath web automation 22.4 this is the you know updated one so any new release will come it will automatically give you a prompt or it will automatically update the extension when in the, in the background okay so it's done so once you have enabled it if you to want to disable click on this it will get disabled if you want to enable it should have a blue button click on it once again so it is enabled now so let me close the browser as advised we should close it and then try to reopen it so that way uh, everything should be all right now if you if i go to settings it should not uh, you know give me that threat message hey, hey, hey something has changed okay everything is all right there is no message that is appear appearing okay and the extension is also enabled okay so everything is done and there is another option here you can click and check the extension okay so so you have understood now the very first thing uh, on a ui on a browser right on a browser how do you really start working on uipath studio how do i open a browser how do i close a browser all of this question how do i open a url in a browser right how do i type into something into the browser so all these things would come into our mind now okay so let's do one thing go to activities all you do hit type browser type browser and you would find multiple different um, activities that would come 
okay use application if you see browse for folder grid browser data navigate browser set browser data use application browser so these are various different options Th those are available okay and then there is also below that there is something called classic attach browser open browser refresh browser so this were the old activities now you would say rakesh i do not see that okay you won't see that because if this option is unchecked by default it will not be checked so you will only find this this set of applications if you want to see the op, uh, the other one all you have to do hit on show classic this is the old ones so we will not use the old ones we will go with the modern ones okay so the simple thing that you have to go is start using the use application browser this is the activity we generally use in the in our projects use application browser so this is compatible to open an application also it can open the browser okay now let's say i want to open uh, let me click on google chrome so by default this is the page let's say i want to open google chrome so let me show you all you need to do hit on indicate application to automate you need to click on this link and because we have enabled extension it will automatically detect google chrome browser and in the browser you would see a green symbol is coming all you need to do is click somewhere so the moment you click on the browser automatically it detects what kind of a browser it is it is saying chrome new tab okay and it has detected the application automatically and it has got the symbols for you okay so let's say this is just a new tab right it is saying new tab what if i want to open google.com so first of all what i will do i'll type google.com okay first of all let me open the url so i've kept it open then go back to this studio in the browser google.com is open now click on this and then hit on indicate target on screen and i need to indicate the browser okay now if i indicate because the url is there google.com that will automatically be fetched isn't that interesting it will do everything automatically for you you don't have to manually type anything so this is the activity which will do the job and you can see the title of the activity has also changed if you see use browser chrome google getting it so this is quite easy now let's say i want to type something okay i want to type something type into so i'll use a type into activity okay here in the google i would like to type so i will hit on indicate and then i am going to select the element getting it how i am doing let me let me redo okay let me redo and show you so what i did get the uh, let me delete this activity activities so here i search for type into drag and drop the type into activity that you see and then all you need to do indicate in chrome and indicate the search bar where you need to so it will have a green color right so you need to indicate the specific element so you can see how it is giving different different elements in the browser but you need to be very specific where you need to type so here i am giving the indication so once you indicate it will ask you hey uh, show me a nearby element okay um, so nearby element means landmark for example if somebody asks you you go there to that particular shop or that particular place you generally ask for a landmark right similar way for the ui element the user interface elements on a browser you know or any uh, any application it will ask for the nearby element so here this is the nearby element known as anchor in technical terms we call it as anchor anchor is a nearby landmark for the ui element so here on the browser we have given google as the landmark so nearby that we have the search button okay this is understood now once this is done hit on confirm so it has automatically done the job for you now all you have to do let's say i want to search for something let's say automate with rakesh this is our channel name right automate with rakesh so i have typed it here and now i can hit on this and run file so what this will do so let me close this okay close the browser so everything should start automatically on the taskbar you would see the pro, you know once the execution starts here you would find a new icon it will take a bit of time to so you, you can see the new icon has come that means the automation is running now it has opened a you know new instance of the browser and then you know it should type automate with rakesh okay give it a few second so automate with rakesh okay it has typed and it has closed 
so the browser has been closed now you will say it has typed automate with rakesh but it did not show me anything right it's closed so why because after typing you generally what you do you hit on enter so how this can be done click here click here and search for enter or simply type e on your keyboard and select the enter so just by doing that what would happen automate with rakesh enter the code will be entered for you so if you see the behavior now right and i don't want it to be closed right it was closing the browser um, you know it did not allow me to see it what it what it did so if you don't want that to be closed select the top activity and here there's an option close okay so here you can select as always close or never so if i select never so what would happen if you highlight it says dot never it will never close so all those modifications you can do let me run fine so up to your requirement so now the execution has started now the browser has opened right it went to the google.com and now in the browser it should type what automate with rakesh it should type and hit on enter so that i can see the output so now it hit on enter but again uh, it was quite fast it has come back to studio if you go back to the chrome manually you can see the page is there okay the page is there let's say i want to click on something let's say images or news or anything like that or videos i want to click so even that can be automated so all i have to do go to activities panel because i want to click the activity that i should look for is click getting it click so i'll hit on click and then uh, let's say i'm going to indicate into chrome and then i'm going to say this is the section it should click so that i can see the videos from automate with rakish let's say and then it is asking um, you know nearby anchor so nearby anchor is what it could be all it could be news so i'll select all okay nearby landmark so hit on confirm done now let's see um, you know how how this one works so let me save hit on and run file and before that let me close the one which is open so it will start from the beginning okay so these are the couple of things as a beginner uh, we have to learn so you can see it has execution started it is opening the browser and now in the browser it will type the term automate with rakesh you might you know find uh, it might be delayed or something like that then you should click on the videos right did you see it has clicked on videos and it has come back to the studio but if you see it has clicked on the video link right this is so this is one of the thing the other thing um, you know you know many people would like to uh, get some text right get some text for example if i want to type a bangalore temperature for example instead of automate with rakesh uh let me change this uh, text okay um so he, here you can double here you can click and change your text but ensure you are not removing the double quote okay just this and then here i am saying bangalore temperature okay this should it should type and hit on enter so what happens on google so first thing what you do bangalore temperature you type in google to automate it you first do it in manually so if you type bangalore temperature uh, how do i go let me go back to the home page and in the home page let me type bangalore temperature now if you type this uh, you know whatever city name and temperature what happens you get a value here do you see 27 degree celsius now how do i get this value now to get this value the same thing we have to do is get text activity so it will take the value from the browser get text activity okay and here i am going to hit on indicate in chrome and i am going to point to the specific element and it will ask me for the anchor the anchor is this i will give a nearby elements okay and hit on confirm very simple right very simple so this way so it has got the text now to save the text to a variable let's say i want i will create a variable which will hold the value so it will i will uh, you know name it as um temperature the variable name is temperature so I'll, i am simply typing temp you can type the entire word so the variable name i have created is temperature now if you go to the variable panel okay if you go to the variable panel uh, you would you will be able to find the variable that we have just created if you highlight the activity so it is a string variable 
which we have created. Let's say I want to show the temperature in a message box. Right? So it will fetch the data from the browser and finally it should show the temperature in a message box. And here I would like to type um, the current uh, Bangalore, Bangalore temperature is colon space and then it should show me that uh, variable so i'll hit use a plus sign and what is our variable name temperature temp so i'll type temp that's all very simple okay so this is what i have done plus temp i have written now let's see how this one is working let me close this and then hit on run file okay hit on run file and now you will see it will open um, chrome open the browser okay it has opened the browser once again now what this time it should type it should type bangalore right bangalore temperature so let's see if it is typing or not let's wait for a second <coughs> Okay, you can see it has typed Bangalore temperature and then it should hit on enter. Then it should capture that 27 degrees Celsius value that we have and then show it in a message box. Okay, so the execution is still going on until this one is there on the taskbar, the execution is still running. So let's see if it can fetch the data and show it to us. It might take a little bit of time. Okay, so now you can see on my screen the current Bangalore temperature is 27 degrees Celsius. So you can modify all those things. You can write a degree Celsius with double code like this, right? So all this can be done. So now it is showing us the value. So this is very interesting. Similar way, many people would like to really learn a lot of things, right? Uh, as an enthusiast, um, you know, as a as a learner, you would like to learn a lot of things. All you do, um, you know, go to YouTube. Okay, I'll tell you how do you find my channel, and how do you really utilize all different contents that almost 500 plus contents we have created. Okay, if you go through all of them, definitely you'll be a master in UiPath. So you'll just type automate with Rakesh on your browser, and then uh, this is the channel okay just click on the logo now if you click on the logo um, this is my channel uh, home page okay this is my channel home page uh, here if you hit on the videos right if you hit on the videos uh, to start learning you can go to the very bottom right of the video and do it or it's you click on the playlist very simple um, so in the playlist the very bottom playlist is all about um, you know learn variables data types control flow basics all basics how to create a sequence how to create a flow chart everything in detail i have shown you now one challenge you would find the activities may not because um, you know it was uh, you may you may find some older activity to work on the older because you have to learn even the old activities okay you can't ignore so here all you have to do hit hit on show classic okay show you know enable show classic and all the activity that is taught in this 55 different basic videos you will be able to find them by just enabling show classic and go through this entire playlist so once you are done with this then move on to the excellent data table then move on to uipath key techniques for master playlist email automation pdf automation re framework excel automation so you can go advanced as you want and you can pick your own specific playlist okay this is how you should start your learning journey so thank you guys for watching this video um, you know please do continue uh, please do subscribe to the channel in case you have not done it already um, right please do subscribe and stay up to date with uipath information uipath knowledge uipath practical scenarios thank you guys take care we are going to meet once again in our next video Bye bye